Dumelanka Ofela, welcome to Mosewaka, Nali Bizolaka Ke Masichaban Lovo. This is your favorite show where we meet women who have made the impossible possible, where we discover something about their life's journey through the outfits that they've worn. Join our conversation on our Facebook page, hashtag Mosewaka, the page is Aerial South Africa. Wusun Bona Hemwe Tuwaka is multi award winning recording artist, Afro pop legend, and UNICEF ambassador Tili Moholo. Later on in the show, we talk to Jane Mlongo. Now, she's a philanthropist and a community leader like no other. But first up, our legend, Tidi Riaho Amohela. Okay, Dumela, Dumela Maschava, thank you so much uh, for Honka Mohela. Thank you for inviting me. And yeah, Dumela is celebrate with you. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Yeah, lady. On a lady. On a lady. How about a shine bright like a diamond? Exactly. Quena o. Yes. Thank you. So, Tidi, you are one of the most loved singers, musicians uh, that the country has produced. But your life's journey didn't begin in music. Talk to me about this outfit, your first. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a roller coaster. Within this industry, but um, back to where it started. This is the dress that I used to wear. I'm a teacher because I'm a, I'm a teacher by profession. You dress like this as a teacher? Yes, you know. This looks like a designer dress. N not really, not really. And, um, I, and I bought it from one of the guys who are starting in the fashion world, yeah. uh, Lindani Nduandwa, and I said, uh, we are going for something go school long, so I needed to look, you know, proper, because sometimes so it's only mistress. You are expected to grow up body two piece, the in the first court, the in in. So I needed that look that will just make me look very, you know. Vintage, but in a very uh, getting stylish. Stylish. So, stylish, so yeah. that's your relationship with clothing. Have yes. you, you've always been the stylish, even I've as a teacher. Yeah. yeah, even with my mother. Me waka na ilimu toriki sandi katiba. So collocation in kwe kuholet in kwe tingo lechtenbeke. People used to just run into my mother's house by lobata dikatiba so that they can buy the bema pay pa ba ya kumanya long. So you can imagine. So coming from that hometown, uta. Uberakamu, Johannesburg, Uruda High School. I was teaching high school. Hey. So I needed to dress, you know, very beautifully and respectably in, in a dignified manner. And this captures that so exactly. well. What did you teach exactly? I was teaching arts and culture, yeah. Lila for orientation. But I qualified as a teacher, uh, specialized in Gastwana, the mm. geographical university of Gwenemu Perim. Let's um, now explore further relationship with how leba na honache. You're not teaching anymore. I'm not teaching anymore, but I still have those learners that I used to teach mm. way before. Basan sani ban pizza mem. Some banyezi bang ba bereka ban leba na. Mar to them, it was very nice because I was the youngest teacher ko schoolo. Nekilo chomia ban. Usanzo nekilo chomia ban because you today are exactly. are an ambassador for UNICEF. Yes. Tell me about the work that you do with girls. Um, it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite a special thing to me because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of work and I was teaching myself in the organizations that are, you know, recognized all over, mm -hmm. you know, humbled me because that's what I've always wanted to do. It, it was not about money. Sure. It was about dedication, passion, and commitment. Mm -hmm. And also, I found myself Kiberaka Khapeli Small Foundation in South Africa. Yeah. And I'm also an ambassador, yeah, Department of Basic Education mm -hmm. for Lead to Read, mm -hmm. so that I encourage the parents to always read for Bana. So your, your mother, your wife, Onyete <laughs> Khosi. <laughs> so that makes you a queen, right? Yes. I mean, a queen on top of the queen that you already were. Yes. How's your married life treating you? Well, it's nice, though it was a bit, you know, challenging because you could have gone, get so cool, get so cool, let's think back, give me stress. 
and then kamuvela into the music industry. Now who na lenta tiki yo urish wampula yon shapa witi kin ten nilo and again royalty now you have to adjust to yeah. the standards yeah. Yeah. and people are expecting so much from you yeah. and a uh, life your house is it's not not it's not about you anymore uh -huh. like what you do and what you say how you you know how you you present yourself it's about how the people they are always you know judging you hey. Wow. You know, and you know, um, he's a he's a he's a it's on chief, mm. and um, yeah. So a lot a lot of people know. So he he's such a good supporting structure mm. in my life, in my career. You know, supporting my kids, my family. Yeah. And um, yeah, so it's it's quite it's still a roller coaster, but. Um, yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah. And anyway, un toti kilimo, seti kilimo. More industry. industry. Does he support your music career? Exactly. Wow. Yeah, he supports. What else? Him. What else could a woman ask for, huh? Yeah. We'll talk know, more about that yeah. in depth, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get to more of who Sidi Moholo is. Okay. Thanks. So please do go to our Facebook page, Aerial South Africa, hashtag Mosewaka. And tell us your story about your special outfits and, and how you made the impossible possible. A hero who has dedicated her entire life to helping addicts back to life. All that after this. Welcome back, Koshebeletse Mosewaka, Nali Bitsolaka Ki Master Chaban Lovo. We have the phenomenal Tidi Moholo with us in studio. So, this part of the show, Tidi Renale surprise outfit ya hao, eche tilwen ke mutu. So, how, how, how shebi le fela, who do you think chose your dress today? Maybe, okay. The chief? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe my kids, one of my kids. Yeah? Oh, let's yeah. see if you're right. I chose this beautiful stone cherry dress for my mom because it represents all the hardworking, long, beautiful years of her music career <laughs> when she was performing with my Laika. And, you know, it really inspired me, actually, because, you see, it's black and yellow, abona. And then with the beads there, ooh, it's a king. The design was wow. So, I guess you were right. Yes. <laughs> yes. I knew it. I knew it. All right. So, yeah. tell us about your, your child. My 13-year-old. Mm. Ah, she's a superstar. My child, Gamu, she's my first child. And um, she loves... She loves singing, acting. Mm. She wants to be like me. How she be I think it's because it reminded her of Nakotseli. Because she was still a bit, you know, younger. Yeah. Ah, Malaika is that. So I think for her, the beading. You know, why is urban about a tooth or a tooth? Anybody but anybody in, and so for for any kind or maybe it it plays a major role. Yeah, I'm fascinated. And also, the figure you can you can even tell. I mean, in a show where my collarbone, yeah, and it's a boob tube dress sort of, yeah, and it longer because it was able to cover me. Because sometimes na lorei mama that dress is too short. Wow, she's very cool. Yeah, wear something that's longer. So. <laughs> Now this dress represents um, the beginning Legenia Haole Malaika. Yes. Let's go even further back. When did the music bug bite? I grew up in a musical family. Mm. My father was a great singer. Unfortunately, he died of cancer. Mm. And I'm the only one from the family who managed to, you know, be a professional singer. Now, f from being a teacher to yes. becoming uh, geez, a superstar. How did that change your life? It was it was heavy mm. because Uropolori from the dresses that I used to wear, the clothes that I used to wear, you know, sometimes we can hear about these talkings. Now you are in an industry where people just want to be seen and about attention, yeah. and how we look is quite important. Mm. And Limuzukoru Yetang must also, you know, say something. 
to yeah. people. It must tap into their emotions. So it was a it, it was a huge transformation. Now, how did you deal with the fame? Um, it was how do I put it? Um, I think not only tough, but surrounding yourself with very influential people mm -hmm. that are just going to you know about who do you say about the Lord and I think so. In the we work already on Asion. Kibo Mamba. You know, I've got, you know, I've got a mom in the industry. Hey. I've got Mama Yvonne Chaka Chaka, who's ah. like me and yeah. her scheme. Wow. And, you know, even my mother, you know, even when I go home, you know, people always love the fact that, you know, TD is the first start to come out of this township. So, Jale Kekopa, what's already challenging to how, as a woman in the industry, in the music business, nearly It was tough because nobody wanted to listen to some of us. Yeah and the body victimizer mm. and they felt like when you start asking questions but you are feeling give me stress because ah. when it comes to contracts now you are reading things because already you know let's go and start to hang yeah <laughs> so they start being worried <laughs> baba restless oh, no, this, this one knows too much exactly yeah so, she's a smart black yeah because yeah. you will be shut down fella because people buffy laurie unali knowledge about certain things yeah and then i loved researching yeah. i loved you know asking people and consulting or remarry if in totally so where to how do so I, you you are an artist who read her contract yes yeah, you've come quite a long way yes. with your um, group members, Bongani, Lejabu. Lejabu, yeah. We lost Jabu. Yes. Mm -hmm. How did that impact you individually and as a group? I think vocally, mm. spiritually, morally, mm. you know, um, things just started just going down because even if Neri, Luana, Lithri, mm. Jabu was this person who will just Mediate. crack a joke. Yeah. And then everything ebe, ebe ebe gold yeah. and you're like oh okay and how what is sometimes say when i was on what and then he comes and i act the guy and nothing happened yeah but yeah. um he was he was that glue yeah he even used to fight libongan and then he break because now bongani was more reserved uh -huh. Jabu was this year oh. by one <laughs> so i'm about to hung corner or about to bang yeah, yeah. you know <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know but yeah. it was fun yeah. and we, we we were like family yeah you know and um we enjoyed each other's company yeah because we had different strengths mm. and we believe uh momu dimu too much is there a chance of a malaika comeback i would love to I would love for that to, to happen, but only time will tell. Hold right there. Yeah. Well, we're going to come back to the story and uh, reveal TD's final outfit. But overcoming adversity and clawing your way back, and this is how everyday heroes make the impossible possible. So, Muchaki Waruna, Ola the Langim Meoluring, Waiting Oberekile Tata, where it's a show or Hono to Sabat Babang. Just like CD, our community hero, Jane Mklongo, is a philanthropist and a leader like no other. Her child is a Nyaupe addict, and the only way that she could help him was to help others. She quit her job and started a center that empowers addicts with job skills so that they too can transform their lives and stay clean. You look ravishing in that dress. And that is just a small token of appreciation from Ariel. You're running a center facilitating the upskilling of uh, recovering or recovered drug addicts in your community. Your story started with your son who was addicted to Nyaube. Yes. Tell me about that. Uh, at the age of 15. Of 15 years, I cannot go near Ope and then Cabonore. Ki as a mad, ki a mekilo to Sakimutus, Nekisaveta, Kitama, Gili, Ki could hunt a kilo of a commissivit in Babonok or maybe Kilakam Savitwak. So I decided to reach King Kitaba, me Otto Toranti Pagabahal, because there are kids out there, Babangat. Kids, but when I look at Hiso, like Hiso, who's sitting here today, tell me your story. Before you go to the house, Jane, what kind of trouble did you get into? Yeah, big trouble, you know. I started smoking by the age of nine. 
I never thought I would change to be somebody being an addict. Mm. You know, started smoking cigarettes, uh, marijuana, the cannabis. Uh, then, Nyaupe. Mm. Then from Nyaupe, I went to prison. When I came back, it's where I met Mama. Yeah. So, at what point did you decide to change your life, Kahisa? Uh, I started attending meetings, you know, from the recovery center, Khanya. Uh, after meeting them together, sitting together, I had that love, you know, mm. that I can change. Because mm. if you want to change, uh, change starts with you. Yes. You know, it doesn't start with somebody else. Mm. That's with you. So if you want to control drugs, don't control drugs, control yourself. Mm. That's mm. the main thing they taught me yes. at the recovery center, you know? Wow. Kio, kio, mona, unka mulebuha. Oh, thank you. you know, for everything. Uh, there's a lot, you know, until I graduate <laughs> school, you know. Yes. So I need to graduate, then I'll make you proud. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. So as a Janey, um wanna how Uko Kai Honachi. Yeah, no day the tack and dive. Yeah. Yeah. Still still a distancing out. Yeah, ubit with ubitira hole though and that's who has yeah. a tonally before. City, I see such a commonality between when I le le out Jane Mona because I mean Lily too you use education to empower. Exactly. Okarin huye and a ka jenia high and kile. Yeah. She's she's a very strong woman. I must just congratulate her and congr congratulate Lika Hiso, you yes, know, for you. actually thank overcoming. You. Because sometimes there are two Rinal Matata Kuntum Banaba Sabui and Banaba Nali stress. And uh, we need to find the 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 the, the, the root cause mm. first exactly. before we can start, you know, doing the lots of counseling. Mm. But handling the key in your shock in terms of support. My dream, my wish and a key a key a hanka bona iki to hanka batula a place. Could really a center more to do landing, kids or mocking that day and at Yapeha, Gavasa, Fedi, Joe, Di Paso, Wabon. How do I get a paso? Mussona will not represent her in Mopilba. Mussis or Kurota is a hacky, kiki, could have Kusha was so Kifila or Ritz King. Or represent and to sing at like me, how me. Could like your appearance, I feel or. Happy on behalf of the entire nation, because you are ensuring that the future of South Africa is secure. Exactly. And thank you. I mean, you are such an inspiration. And there are people watching who are saying, if he can do it, then so can I. Yeah, mm. so that. So, Momo Musuwaka, together with Ariel, um, just to, to show our appreciation for making the impossible possible, we are giving you a year supplier washing powder. Wow. We are also going to give you the voucher that will ensure that you can buy your kids clothes, oh, you can God. buy them food, oh, everything that they need. Oh, thank so you. So that is thank just you. the little bit that we can do, Mona. Oh. And uh, we really, truly bless your journey. And Bon, it's not a little, let's say, we'll have a pill. Thank you. That before it's a whole, it twists a whole, a whole, a whole. Thank you. It takes a mother. It takes someone who cares. It takes a community. Heroes can be found in our homes, and they can be found in our streets, they can be found in the church. They are you, they're me, and they make the impossible possible. Visit our Facebook page, Ariel South Africa, and let us know about your special outfit that impacted your life. And don't forget to hashtag Musuwaka. When we return, we get to know TD a little bit more as she reveals her final dress. <laughs> So, Afro Afropop sensation. She's also a dedicated mother and philanthropist. And now we are down to the final outfit of the evening, the extravaganza. Oh. So what does this dress represent in your life? It represents where I'm able to come out of my own shell. Hmm. I'm the leopard queen, yes. But this color just made it like, you know, it just made it a statement. 
and for the fact that you know I've got a very petted body yeah that people don't really know yeah and you know you showed you, it off in this yeah dress. David Tale being the legend that he is <laughs> managed to you know pull it yes. and yeah I look stunning everybody was just you know making noise about this dress I love it I love and you it. wore it to a major award ceremony uh, mm -hmm. people who were there were seeing TD for the first time on yes. stage in a long time we'll talk about where you went mm -hmm. but what was that feeling like when the crowd screamed before they even saw your face. You know what? It gave me freedom of being the person that I've always wanted to be. I felt fearless. And at the same time, I was happy that I was given that platform of that magnitude. And for the fact that I was performing, you know, with Casper who was mm -hmm. my homeboy. And um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was exciting. So what's next for you? Can we expect another album soon? 2017, 2018? I would love to go back into mm -hmm. studio. And right now, I'm no longer signed to any recording label. Yeah. I've been managing my own business. Mm -hmm. And um, I would love to hear what's, what's happening, what's relevant mm -hmm. now, because I can see industry at Lalanu. Yeah. I certainly wish you all of the best in your Thank journey. Thank you. I Thank cannot you. wait to experience you again. Thank Gabon you very or? much. You, you, you're, you, you're owning your power, you know? Yeah, sometimes see, you need to just take a break mm. and introspect, mm. research, mm. and attack. Aich. I'm the Leopard Queen. Yes, girl. I would never lose my spots. Ooh. Please, make no mistake. <laughs> I'm Sidi Muholo and Hawaiian. The one and only. Hey, hey. All right. So <laughs> looking back and looking forward, really... There is n not a, a huge distinction between, especially the outfits on the left and the right, because you were wearing a designer dress as a mm -hmm. teacher, mm -hmm. and you look so classy and elegant, yeah. and yet transitioning into the, the, the woman who went from being a teacher to performing on stages yes. and being loved by the country, your songs becoming national anthems. Mm -hmm. You took a break, you became the wife of a chief, and coming back in a designer gown, taking South Africa by storm, as if you never left, like you were always here. For me, Kifilori, it's a huge transformation, you know, from there to there to there. I know, you know, people say the way had you Mona because there's a lot that that one used to wear. There's a lot. But um, I had to choose special ones that I felt they are very close to my heart. Well, thank you so much for sharing you. you with us. Thank you. Missy Yaka. Missy mm -hmm. Yahao. Mm -hmm. From teacher to renowned singer and now to businesswoman who's owning her empire. She's coming back with a bang like she never left. The unrivaled queen of Afro pop. And uh, we also thank our community hero, Jane Mthongo. If you are struggling with an addiction, just know that it is going to be okay. Anything is possible. Lika hore or toleko Facebook Ariel South Africa and make sure you hashtag Mosewaka. From me, Masachaban Drovo, thank you so much for tuning in. I wanna happen next week. Good night. Mm -hmm.